Hey guys, welcome to another video that I have for you here today and excitingly, this is a special, special, special video and I'll tell you the reason or probably you'll find the reason why extremely very soon. So have you ever heard of somebody or people who rap the news? Here I have with me Human and I have with me Katie who are from Senegal and yes, they do rap the news. You're welcome guys. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Hello, Gambia. So it's more than a pleasure to have them on my vlog. They came here to train us on some social media ideas and also to tell us what inspired them to start what they call Journal Rappé. So I wouldn't talk much. Tell us, Katie, Human, why Journal Rappé? Because Human, um, <laughs> that was his idea, so I think. He should answer, huh? Yeah. Yo, Journal Rappé, because we... Um, we're living in a you know in an area of uh, the social media of um, internet and uh, we have a lot of information but too much information can kill the information so mm -hmm. we just decided to give our own version of these infos instead of just letting people tell us what to believe what to think what to see so we just try to show them our version of the news and then we do it because we are rappers so we just try to blend music and information so this is why the journal rap came true so um it's something that is really really very um famous in senegal society and even outside senegal for that matter so tell us um how have you been able to mix this uh, have there been any controversies what are the success stories what are some of the challenges that you face putting up episodes every week yeah the first challenge is sticking to um coming out every week, releasing an episode every week, because um, there are so many other things to take care of. But um, we have this approach of, we don't want no excuse. Mm -hmm. um, uh, when it comes to the quality of the program, we don't want to give the excuse of, oh, we in Africa, we don't got so much equipment. No, um, uh, technology has changed so many things, um, made so many things accessible that um, yeah it's you we shouldn't have excuses yeah. so we are just being hard on ourselves um, to make sure that we put uh, we put out content uh, quality content um, that we also are critical um, because we think that um, our country need it our continent need it and our continent needs to have different voices expressed. I agree. So, yeah, and uh, all along that's what we've been doing, un encouraging other artists also, other people who are not artists but have things to say that look, the platform, the platforms are all over. So it's just up to you um, to choose um, the way you want to talk to people and then give your opinion because like construction, Constructing our our continent starts with um, putting all of the opinions out there yeah. and discussing them. Great. So you have been in the Gambia for a few days. Tell us, um, how is it like? Is this your first time? And if no, and this is the first time you're enjoying the smiling coast of Africa, what are your recommendations for people out there who might want to visit? Um, this is my fourth time in the Gambia. I'll, the two first times I was here for concerts, then the third time, the leisure, and now I'm here for this workshop. And I must say this, like, the hospitality here is, is like, amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, the way people are, people are nice, laid back, you know, and we were having that discussion that I find that there is a particular a certain type of humor <laughs> which is here that I really like, like uh, you know um, outside of that um, the nature is amazing um, I've been the previous time I was here I think I was until Bintambolong oh wow so, that's a beautiful place yeah very beautiful and those are the places we need to see because yeah. when you talk about Gambia people usually think of Banjul exactly you know and that's what I'm telling people go outside of Banjul the country is beautiful there are things to see um, 
Um, but yeah, um, there is also the tourist side of the country, which is really nice also. It's, um, it's worth having the experience mm -hmm. of being a tourist for one day, two days, but then get, go out of Banjul. And, and see other places. See other places. Yeah. Great. Human, what's your experience? Um, as a reggae lover, definitely I love to come to Banjul, to come to Gambia, you know, and I think this is my fifth or sixth time. Oh, wow. So, yeah, every time I come mm -hmm. in, I have a lot of friends here, a lot of musician uh, friends. We used, like, we did a lot of things together. We even shoot a video of uh, one of your, of your artists, Royal Riley Sinja. Oh, Royal, so, yeah, he's yeah, a good exactly. one. So, definitely, coming here is a re great, great pleasure. And uh, exchanging our experience that we have with the Arabic, that's something, you know, really, really good because when we started this program, we didn't even know that we are going to have the chance to see other places. Yeah, to go to different places and exchange with people. Um, and beside that, the thing really interesting about if if you want to come to 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 Gambia, make sure that you come. You know, like don't come with your stress. With your stress <laughs> and come happily. <laughs> I totally agree with that. So it has been a, an amazing, amazing workshop with the both of them and the entire team who are behind the journal Rappé. You're going to see their link right down the description section. You need to click it and see more of their videos. And thank you so much for being with me. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for uh, having this interview, yes. Katie. And Uma, no, thank actually, you so much. Actually, actually <laughs> we lied to you. I'm not Katie. I'm oh. T-Small. Okay, yes, exactly. You look exactly like T-Small. So many people say, say it. Yeah. So we have an artist called T Smalls, and they like ad yeah, identical, my my extremely identical. So we thank just, you. <laughs> we, were, we were just communicating yesterday night. You see? Yeah. Well, thank you so much, and I'm glad you love the Gambia. Peace. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Peace. Adios.